What is going on, everyone? My name is Jamon McKinney, or you can just call me Juice because that is my nickname. I want to talk about Daniel Jones today, the starting quarterback for the New York Football Giants. I believe in Daniel Jones as an NFL starting quarterback. I'm going to try to convince you as to why you should believe in Daniel Jones if you don't believe in him already, okay? I'll be the first to admit this, and I, I've said this in previous episodes. I whiffed on Daniel Jones. I whiffed on the guy. I did not see a guy that was overall going to be a great NFL quarterback. I did not expect him to have the rookie season that he had. I felt that he would be a poor man's Alex Smith at best. I did not think that he was worth the sixth overall pick. I crushed that pick. And overall, I felt that Daniel Jones would potentially one day become a bust. And while that still might be on the table, I'm not wishing that on Daniel Jones. Don't get me wrong. You know, Daniel Jones, he has some things that he needs to clean up. Okay? He's not all the way there yet. But so far, so good. I like what I've seen from Daniel Jones. Okay? I really have, you know. Now, I'm not going to sit up here and tell you that Daniel Jones is officially a franchise quarterback quite yet just because he still has a lot to prove. You know, Daniel Jones might not be as accurate as Drew Brees. He doesn't quite have the arm of Aaron Rodgers or Patrick Mahomes. He's not quite as mobile or dynamic as Kyler Murray or Deshaun Watson or Lamar Jackson. But Daniel Jones is Daniel Jones. And Daniel Jones, being Daniel Jones, can become a legit franchise quarterback one day. And I believe that if Daniel Jones gets the right support around him, he will be the long-term starting quarterback for a long time for the New York Football Giants, and I believe that he can win you a lot of games, okay? Last year, Daniel Jones fumbled a lot. He had 18 fumbles. His pocket presence as of right now is borderline atrocious. He did throw some dumb interceptions last year, but let's be real. He was a rookie quarterback. He's going to make mistakes. There was some bad with Daniel Jones last year, but let me tell you something right now. There was also a lot of good with Daniel Jones last year, despite his struggles, okay? Daniel Jones showed me that he's a tough kid last year. He showed me that he has the mental makeup to be the franchise quarterback for the New York Football Giants. This guy continued to deliver strikes down the field despite playing behind a bad offensive line. This guy was booed on draft night. He didn't. You didn't hear a peep from him. He didn't go to Twitter. He didn't bash anyone. He barely talked to the media. He says all the right things to the media. He handles the media very well. Daniel Jones... In his first ever start in the NFL, had an 18-point comeback on the road versus Tampa Bay. And Tampa Bay, they have some real players in that defense. Levante David, Devin White, um, you know, uh, Vita Vea, the Dominican Sioux, Shaq Barrett, JPP. It didn't matter. Daniel Jones, sure he made some mistakes, but listen, that guy bought out in his debut. He had four total touchdowns in that game. And for the year, Daniel Jones threw 24 touchdown passes, 12 interceptions, had an 87 pass rating in 12 games as a starter. That's pretty good considering the fact that he only played in 12 games as a starter. And to put all these things in context, Sterling Shepard missed games. Saquon Barkley wasn't healthy the entire year. Evan Ingram, he struggled with injuries last year. Golden Tate missed time due to injury. He was playing behind a terrible offensive line. His defense was awful. Pat Shermer, he's a solid offensive coordinator, but not a good head coach. Did you know that Daniel Jones last year threw for more touchdown passes than Tom Brady, Phillip Rivers, Jared Goff, Derek Carr, Josh Allen, and Kyler Murray? Did you realize that? And he, only, he only started 12 games. And he didn't have Keenan Allen or Mike Williams like Phillip Rivers had. Phillip Rivers had one of the best rosters in the entire NFL. He didn't have the weapons that Jared Goff had. He didn't have the offensive line or weapons that Derek Carr had. Heck, you can make the argument that Josh Allen may have had a better supporting cast last year. Also, Daniel Jones is a quarterback that can move around. You can roll him outside the pocket. He can avoid some sacks from time to time. Now, he sometimes won't see those sacks, but, you know, when he sees the sacks, he can, he can avoid some pressure. You can run some read options from time to time with Daniel Jones. I think that Daniel Jones, if given the right supporting cast, he's going to be a very good quarterback down the road. And listen, man, if Saquon Barkley stays healthy, he's one of the three best running backs in all of football. If Evan Ingram stays healthy, if Sterling Shepard stays healthy this year, if Darius Slayton takes a big step this year, if Golden Tate plays well, if the offensive line improves, 
Daniel Jones could have a breakout season this year. I won't be shocked at all. Now, like I said, Daniel Jones, he does need to fix his, his fumbling issues. He needs to cut down the turnovers. You know, I do think that his internal clock in the pocket needs to speed up. And I think that Daniel Jones sometimes needs to just calm down a little bit. He's a, He sometimes was a, was a batter in the batter's box that was just looking to hit the home run. Sometimes, Daniel Jones, you know, you need to just sit sit back and take the check down. Check it down to Saquon Barkley. Take what the defense gives you. Don't try to be a hero. But honestly, man, I, look, I'm going to tell you something right now. I'm not sold on Joe Judge as a head coach. But if Joe Judge is a good head coach, and if this offensive line improves, and the Giants continue to build around Daniel Jones, there's no reason to think that this guy cannot win football games in the National Football League. I threw out the statistics to you. Did you watch the games he played? Daniel Jones is tough as nails in the pocket. He's not afraid to get hit. He's not afraid to push the football down the field. He's a very solid decision maker. He's accurate when given time. He's a 6'5 quarterback that can move outside the pocket and make plays off schedule. According to Joe Judge, the guy's work ethic is off the chart. There's a lot of things to like about Daniel Jones. Now, he's going to continue to get better and better and continue to progress if he wants to continue to survive in the NFL because he's not going to become what I think he can become if he continues to throw those dumb interceptions, if he continues to fumble the football away consistently. But if Daniel Jones fixes his issues, and if the Giants build around this guy, and Daniel Jones gets the right head coach for him, there's no reason to think that Daniel Jones cannot become the long-term franchise quarterback for the New York Football Giants. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Please also note that the Juice Alert Sports Podcast is not just a YouTube channel. It is available on all podcasting platforms, including Spotify, Google Podcasts, iTunes, and Apple Podcasts. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this content with all your friends. This podcast is is my favorite thing in the entire world right now. It is my passion. I want more people to listen to this podcast. I really want this podcast to grow. Also, a fun fact about me is that I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. I am looking to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. And I potentially would like to start my own network if this podcast really truly grows or if I fall short of that goal, I would love to work for a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. I am open to all networks. So if you believe in my dreams and you see or hear my passion through the screen, be sure to tell all your friends about the Juice Alert Sports Podcast. Stay motivated, you guys. Have a God-blessed day, and I'm out.